Hi everyone, my name is Mitchell Leasley and I'm the GIS Developer Technician for the City of Steinbach. Steinbach is located 35 minutes southeast of Winnipeg and is the third largest city in Manitoba. Steinbach has seen significant population growth over the last 20 years. In 2001, the population was 9,227, and in 2016, the population was 15,829. Current estimates in 2021 have the population around 17,800. One of the key aspects was being able to access our own data in the community maps as it aggregates authoritative data. As a growing city, I've noted that other base map providers aren't as on top of updates as what the community maps program. And when you're a growing city, you need to have the most accurate data available. I had seen information on the community maps program at an Esri Canada user conference, but I credit my Esri Canada account manager for putting me in contact with Carolina, who is my community maps representative. Carlina was very helpful in getting me set up for sharing the layers as map packages and understanding how the layers need to be set up, both in the initial share as well as when I forward updates. The layers we have shared include street center lines, address points, building footprints, and parcel boundaries. And I've made a concerted effort that when changes are made that those updates are sent in a timely manner to the Community Maps Program. There were several projects we were able to roll out thanks to the Community Maps Program. I created a road restrictions portal for the 2021 Spring Road Restrictions Program. And thanks to the Community Maps Program, I deployed this application in three days to show the different weight restrictions throughout the city. We've incorporated the Community Maps base map into our Steinbach Public Portal, which received over 3,000 views this past year. We've deployed Community Maps in our mobile field applications, and our fire department uses them for fire incidents and fire pre-incident planning. We just recently rolled out a story map that utilizes the community map to showcase our 2021 Capital Works program. And later this spring, we'll be rolling out a fire hydrant inspection program that utilizes community maps in workforce for ArcGIS. The biggest benefit gained as a result of our participation was improved efficiency in creating our maps for both public and organizational users. Being the only GIS staff member, you're at times being pulled in umpteen different directions and anything that makes your job easier is always a benefit. The other benefit is the positive feedback I had from our staff that they really appreciated having the community map as it has a nice clean look in our ArcGIS mobile application. You know, I remember back to student orientation and the president of the university I attended spoke to all of us at the event. And he mentioned three words that really stood out to me. Take the time. My advice would be this. Take the time to see what other communities have created using the Community Maps Program. Take the time to understand the benefits to your community. Take the time to maintain your data. And lastly, take the time to talk to the Esri Canada staff if you have questions.